それでも俺は Hey, what's going on, everybody? Anime Games Online here. Extremely excited and hyped for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So, the first gameplay video came out. Click the annotation on screen to see it. And there's some news too. In Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1, players could convene in the hub city known as Toki Toki City. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 has a new city, seven times larger than Toki Toki, called Kanton City. Up to 300 players can simultaneously enter a single instance of Kanton City. Where they can undertake quests, train at school, enter fights, shop, and more. Each playable race will have different rewards they can earn from their missions, further diversifying the Dragon Ball Xenoverse experience. Also, in Xenoverse 1, players didn't have the ability to fly in Toki Toki City. In Xenoverse 2, in Kanton City, players will start off unable to fly, but as they progress in the game, they will gain that ability. The reason players are unable to start with flying in Kanton City is because the developers want players to search the city in a specific order. Once they've gone through that order and attain a certain progress level, they will unlock the ability to fly so they can get to new places that would otherwise be unreachable. As many recall, in Xenoverse 1, only the World Tournament Arena was available for local multiplayer. In Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, players will have an updated local multiplayer where They can engage in player vs. player fights in several environments or several stages. The game will run at 60 frames per second on all platforms for a smoother experience and highly animated fights.、Um, in local multiplayer, it will not have split screen. The camera angle will be similar to Xenoverse 1. There will be more stages, like I said before, in local multiplayer with the camera adjusted to fit all action on a single screen. The specific amount of stages can't be revealed at this time, but the producer for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 mentioned that fans will be satisfied with the number. Also, there's rumors that there will be hoverboards,、um, vehicles, and Nimbus clouds for players to fly on. The producer for Dragon Ball Xenoverse said that he can't say、um, anything about this, but it was shown at E3 that there are hoverboards. Also, like I said before, there's a training school, and this is the training mode in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So many fans asked for a training mode in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1. It wasn't there. We couldn't practice how to actually play the game. So, developer Dimps is finally implementing it、uh, in Xenoverse 2. In regards to Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 started development before the series began to air in July 2015. So, Um, the producer for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 said it's unclear how much the game will cover content from the series, but they will try to get it in there. It's just they're just not sure how much. It's also rumored there will be more transformations in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. The producer for the game said he can't comment on this at this time and for fans to please wait for more details on what and how many transformations there will be in the game. Oh, and this might be exciting news. Xenoverse 2 is going to be supported with updates for up until one year. I'm personally hoping that means a lot of awesome DLC. Xenoverse 1 came out in February 2015, and we got DLC until June 2015 with DLC Pack 3. So that was supported for like four months. We did get the World Tournament mode and updates to balance the game after that until March 2016 that were really minor. So I'm hoping for Xenoverse 2, when they see one year of updates, it'll be significant stuff. Oh, and for uh, offline uh, local multiplayer gameplay, there will be one to two players, and online multiplayer, there will be two to six players. Xenoverse 1 also had、uh, two player local multiplayer and up to six player online multiplayer. I'm not sure how、uh, multiplayer will be different or if it will be different、um, online, but I'm hoping so, because I'd like to do like four versus two or two versus three. In Xenoverse 1, both teams had to have like the same amount of players. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all the news and updates for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 that I know so far.、Um, yeah, I did read a lot of this from Saiyan Island.、Um, but yeah, that's it.、Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys.、Uh, subscribe for more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 news, updates, and videos. And、uh, have a fantastic day.